The British government is lying to you. The British government is pretending that it intends to reduce or prevent illegal immigration. The British government has told you it wants to take back control of our borders. It is lying. Boris Johnson is lying. Priti Patel is lying. They are putting on a show. This is political theatre. How do I know this? Because what the government says is completely different to what the government does. That's the red flag. Illegal immigration is now at record levels in the UK. 430 migrants came into Britain via the English Channel in one day last week. They arrived while the so-called border force stood by and watched. Now for the record, the UK border force is supposed to keep illegal immigrants out of the country. But they're not doing a very good job. Meanwhile, the Tory government introduces the Nationality and Borders Bill. This, says the government, will do the following. Make the system fairer and more effective so that we can better protect and support those in genuine need of asylum. Deter illegal entry into the UK, breaking the business model of criminal trafficking networks and saving lives, and removing from the UK those with no right to be here. This is a lie. The government already has several laws on the books that would allow them to control immigration, but they don't use them. The government has no intention of controlling immigration. This latest bill is simply an attempt to look like they intend to control immigration. It's a diversion. The government has the ability to stop this. It chooses not to. Now let's not forget that the Tories have been in government since 2010. So what's taking them so long? Why haven't they stopped this already? Once again, they have no intention of stopping it. Until we left the European Union, the Tory government used that as its excuse. When we leave the EU, we'll take back control, they told us. But British governments have had control of non-European immigration all this time. And yet, non-European immigration is, and was, higher than EU immigration. And furthermore, since Brexit, non-EU immigration has increased. Now, why did the government not take control? Why did no British government, for years, take control? Because they want this immigration. They've wanted it for decades. And they still want it now. To top it off, the Crown Prosecution Service recently announced that it will not prosecute illegal immigrants for breaking immigration law. As if we didn't know that already. Priti Patel is pretending to be furious about this. The same Priti Patel that oversees all this illegal immigration in the first place. It's a stage show, a farce. None of it is real. So one more time, neither the Tory party nor the Labour party will ever control or reduce immigration, legal or illegal. They are both fully signed up to the globalist ideal of open borders. They are both ignoring the vast majority of British people who want immigration reduced. They do this because they're not afraid of the British people. They fully expect to be voted back into power regardless of how much they ignore us. Let me be very clear. If you want to stop mass immigration to Britain, if you want Britain to exist as a nation for future generations, you must stop voting Labour and stop voting Tory and start listening to those of us who know the games they are playing. We will stop immigration and we will deport those with no right to be here. That's a promise. Join for Britain. 
bring back our borders, bring back our voice, bring back Britain. Thank you for watching. If you agree with what you hear on 4 Britain videos, remember to like them, share them and subscribe to our channel. And why not follow us on social media as well? The relevant links are below. Thank you.